the Toy Reviewer! Hi, Brittany the Toy Reviewer here, and today we're going to be looking at the Geo Safari Junior Jungle Crew Lab Set. So I am super excited to take a look at this set. This is made by Educational Insight, so I'd like to thank for sending this to me. It says that it comes with six sturdy kid size science tools and ten hands-on experiment cards. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the box. So here is the back of the box. Right here it says kids will roar with excitement for Geo Safari Junior Jungle Crew Lab Set. This playful animal themed science set introduces young learners to the wild side of science. Set includes lion test tube, cub test tube, elephant funnel, hippo tongs, and more. The 10 activity cards have simple kid friendly experiments perfect for STEM learning. So let's go ahead and open it up. So the first thing that we have in this set is the rhino flask. So you can see the flask part here and then we have this little rhino head. And you can take this piece off. And it's really cool. It's made out of like a plastic and it looks really awesome. Next we have the lion test tube. So here it is. You can actually take the feet part off like that and you can unscrew the head. And then you can see right here he has a little mouth which is like a little spout. And we can just stick it back up on here like that. Next we have the cub test tube and here are the feet to it and this is like a little koala cub and you can unscrew the top and this is just a smaller test tube and it also does have the little mouth spout. Next we have the hippo tongs. Now these aren't used very much in many of the different little tests that they give us to do. But they are really cool. Next we have the elephant funnel. And what you do is you pour the liquid or the powder or whatever it is you're going to use into the funnel and it comes out the elephant's trunk. Then the last thing that they gave us is the monkey dropper. So it has this cool little monkey head right here. It's super squishy. And you can put out little drops of liquid. The monkey's head does not come off. So that is really cool. Next we have the activity cards. So when you open up our little activity card set, you can see our different tests that we can do. This is Bubble Bliss and then on the other side it gives us the directions. Here is Balloon Bonanza and this is one of the ones that we are going to do. And then on the side we have the directions. We have Muddy Buddy, Color Soak, Drop and Dot Art, Splash and Crash, Disappearing Water, Rainbow Flowers, Mini Lava Lamp, which is the other one that we're going to do today, and Slime Time. And those are all the cards that we have. So we are going to be doing two different experiments today. And let's go ahead and get everything that we are going to need for this one right here, which is Balloon Bonanza. So for the Balloon Bonanza test, what we're going to need to do is get our Lion Test Tube, our Cub Test Tube, our Elephant Funnel. We are also going to need a few things from our home, which is water, a balloon, and I'm going to be using one of the balloons from Boom Boom Balloon. You're also going to need baking soda and vinegar. Alright, so before we start this experiment, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. What we're going to be trying to do is blowing up this balloon. Now, normally if I want to blow up the balloon, I would just put this piece in my mouth and I would blow like this. 
And what I'd be blowing it up with is carbon dioxide from my mouth. Carbon dioxide is very, very important because it's what the plants need to grow. And when the plants grow, they give us oxygen to breathe. So it's really important. Now, we are not going to be blowing into this balloon. We're going to be using baking soda and vinegar. And when you combine baking soda and vinegar, they actually make carbon dioxide just like we do. So that is the point of the experiment. We're going to be blowing up the balloon with these two things right here. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is use the elephant funnel to fill one third of the cub test tube with baking soda. So let's go ahead and take off the top of the cub tube. We can set it in the little feet so it doesn't go anywhere. Then we are going to put the funnel on top, just like this. And let's pour in some baking soda. All right, so let's pour in the baking soda now. And it says to fill it up to about one third of the way full. So if we take off the feet, we can kind of see a little bit better about how far up we are. Let's a little bit more. Alright, so that looks like it's about one third of the way up. Alright, so next what we're going to do is we're going to take the balloon and we're going to place it around the trunk of the funnel. Like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pour the baking soda that we put into the tube into the balloon. Alright, so here is our balloon with all the baking soda in it. You can see there's quite a lot in there. It's pretty heavy. So let's go ahead and get our lion test tube. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fill the lion test tube half the way up with the vinegar. Alright, so that's about half the way up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to place the balloon around the lion test tube like that kind of pull it down a little bit okay and then we're going to pour all the baking soda in there oh my goodness it's blowing up so that was really fast it's blown up really quickly that is really cool. Alright, so I'm wondering if it's going to start deflating now. I'm not really sure. That is really cool. It really made it really puffy. It's not blown up all the way, but it is blown up quite a bit. That is really cool. As long as it's on there, it may stay filled with carbon dioxide for a while. Alright, so here is what it looks like. It looks really cool. Alright, so I'm going to take it off of here. And I'm going to tie it. For our next test, we're going to do the mini lava lamp. So what we've got here is the rhino flask, we have the lion test tube, the cub test tube, the elephant funnel, and the monkey dropper. For the mini lava lamp, we're also going to need a clear plastic bottle with a cap. We will also need some vinegar, baking soda, we need vegetable oil, and we're also going to need some food coloring. The first thing that we're going to do is fill the cub test tube half of the way up with baking soda. So let's go ahead and take off the top. And we have our baking soda here. Alright, so that's about half of the tube. Alright, so next what we're going to use is our clear plastic bottle. I know it's kind of hard to see on my background. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to place in the elephant funnel like this. And then we're going to use our half a thing of cub test tube baking soda. And we're just going to pour it into the funnel like that. And we're just going to drop it all down into the bottle. Alright, so here is all the baking soda that has come down to the bottom of the bottle. Next, we're going to fill the lion test tube all the way to the top with vegetable oil. We're just going to unscrew the top. Here is our vegetable oil. And let's pour it in. It says to fill it all the way. Like that. Next, we are going to take our funnel and place it back on top of our bottle here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to pour in our vegetable oil. Okay, so the instructions say to repeat that process and keep pouring in more vegetable oil until our bottle is three-fourths of the way filled. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to fill it all the way up to about, uh, about here, I think. Right about there, and then we will take a look. Alright, so here is our bottle, and it's filled about three-fourths of the way up with oil. Next, we're going to need the Rhino Flask. And I'm just going to take off the top, and we're going to fill it with vinegar. Next, I'm going to add some coloring here. This is green food coloring because they are using green in the picture. We're just going to drop some into the vinegar. Alright. Next, we're going to place on the rhino top and shake it. It says to use our monkey dropper to get some of the uh, vinegar and food coloring, but as you can see, I did not have enough vinegar to fill it all the way up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it into this little bowl right here. Like that, so it's easier for me to get my dropper. I'm going to squeeze the monkey's head, like that. Place it in the vinegar and food coloring, and then let go. And then you can see that it is now filled with the vinegar and food coloring. Alright, so I put the cap on and I shook it. It didn't say to do that, but I thought it would probably help it a little bit if I shook the baking soda up into the oil. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to place a few drops, I think it says five drops of the colored vinegar into the bottle. Two, three, four, five. Alright, so I've just placed the cap on, so let's see if we can shake it up. And I'm not seeing the food coloring in there. I'm going to add some more food coloring. Okay, I'm starting to get some little bubbles in here now that are like little green bubbles. Alright, so you can really see some of the bubbles now, um, these little green spots, and that's really cool, you can see some of them floating up to the top, especially if we turn it this way, 
Like here's some of the little green bubbles floating up to the top. Alright, so what we learned about doing this test is that the vegetable oil and the vinegar do not mix. So the oil floats to the top and the vinegar floats to the bottom because it is heavier than the oil. So if we flip it this way, shake it this way, you can see again all the green food coloring is starting to go to the bottom and the olive oil is starting to come back up to the top because they won't mix. So it doesn't matter which way we turn the bottle, the olive oil is always going to be on top and our vinegar is always going to be on the bottom. Okay, so what do you guys think of the Geo Safari Junior Jungle Crew lab set? I thought it was a lot of fun. It was really cool. We got to do two really awesome tests and we learned a lot about baking soda and vinegar turning into carbon dioxide and about oil being heavier than vinegar. So it's really cool. I really enjoyed this set. Of course, there were eight more experiments that we could have done. The only thing that we didn't use today were the hippo tongs. Um, they only have like, I think, two of the cards in there use this and they you don't really need it, um, but it is a really cute piece. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more Geo Safari Junior videos. Come back tomorrow for a new video, and if you liked the video you just saw, don't forget to check out our other videos. Find us on Facebook and other social media, and as always, thanks for watching.